Hi, I'm Bhavani and I'm a solo traveler. Hi, my name is Shupali. I'm a solo female traveler. Hi everyone, I am Nayanika Ravi, aka Wonder Woman. And hi, my name is Rupali Radhika, and I'm a travel content creator. Hi, I am Nidhi, and it's been five years since I'm traveling solo and sharing my stories on my Instagram page, which is Girl on a Tales. Hi, my name is Soumya, also known as She Travels. First destination as a solo traveler was Oli. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place in Uttarakhand. My first solo travel destination was actually Pokhara, Nepal. I went there in April of 2023. While it was an international trip, it was quite easy for me to navigate because culturally it was very similar to India. My first travel destination was Udaipur. So my first solo travel destination was Kedarkantha trek back in 2020. So I still remember it was in 2018 when I took my first solo trip to beautiful place Pirbilay. comes a time where you know uh, you realize that i am more than what i'm doing right now i have to know more about myself i have to know what i can do and what i can't in life so yes that is i think one of the greatest motivation that i had the freedom to book tickets my way to the destination that i wanted to go to and a itinerary that suited me the most challenge myself i wanted to step out of my comfort zone and i was going through the back phase of my professional life and i literally wanted to take a break so i asked few of my friends to come along with me but in between they dropped the plan not in the plan but i had to go solo to celebrate my birthday in a different way not partying with friends not uh, celebrating it with with my family i wanted to celebrate in a different and adventurous way that's when i thought of going on a solo trek you feel empowered you feel like you know you're you're a star i mean honestly i'm saying you just feel like a star because you feel like oh i did it i learned the hacks of budgeting how to navigate a completely new city the travel the stays i learned how to make new friends but most of all i learned how to trust my gut instinct which has protected me throughout this journey you become really independent you start feeling that you don't need a lot of people around you that i'm capable of so much more than i thought and i found a new confidence in myself traveling solo is truly a transformative journey you learn so much about yourself allows you the freedom to choose the places of your own discover yourself meet new people uh, and new culture and self confidence so i think the biggest learning from this solo trip was that i felt really empowered and in- independent I want to wish a very happy women's day to all you lovely ladies. While I know it is a tad scary to travel alone for the first time, it is an experience that is also very liberating and you should try it out at least once in your lifetime. So don't let the fear hold you back. Go out there and conquer the world. Here's wishing all the wonderful women a very happy women's day. Happy women's day to all the women. There's a whole world which is waiting for you to explore. So not to be afraid to go solo. Wish you all happy women's day. Happy women's day to all of the women out there. And I just wanted to say that do not be scared to go solo. Um do not overthink it and just go for it. If I can do it, so can you. I want to wish all the women out there a very very happy women's day to more traveling alone and to more empowerment.